Are you about to have hip surgery? Did you know that your toilet may not be set up correctly for your recovery? Learn how to set up your toilet the right way today on Toilet Talk. Welcome to Toilet Talk, the show that loves pretty potties and hates ugly medical equipment. My name is Maria. Lindbergh, and I'm an occupational therapist. I've helped so many people make the best changes to their bathroom to live at home for a lifetime. And today on Toilet Talk, we're going to go over the best way to set up your toilet to help your recovery after hip surgery. Now, if you're watching this video, you may be preparing for your hip surgery. Maybe you're doing the exercises you're supposed to do, eating the foods you're supposed to eat, getting your family members ready to help you out, but you may not have thought about how difficult it may be to use the toilet after hip surgery. There are a couple of bumps in the road after hip surgery. The first thing that comes to mind automatically is the amount of pain that you may feel when you're feeling pain, it makes those everyday things harder to do, like going to the bathroom. But there's another reason that makes it even more important to pay attention how your toilet is set up to make sure that your hip is recovering properly. And that thing is your surgeon may request that you do posterior hip precautions. What are posterior hip precautions? When your surgeon gives you posterior hip precautions, this is what they mean. Number one, do not bend the surgical hip past 90 degrees. Number two, do not cross your legs. And number three, do not rotate your surgical leg inwards, AKA no pointing your toes in. So why did your surgeon give you posterior hip precautions after hip surgery? Because they want to make sure that your joint heals completely right. But the problem with posterior hip precautions is they make it harder to move how you normally would every day. And you're having to totally rethink about how you use the toilet. Sometimes your hip surgeon may ask that you do posterior hip precautions for as long as 12 weeks. That's three months. Since you may have to follow your hip precautions for such a long time, it makes sense to change your toilet so that you feel comfortable and you're able to follow those guidelines for your hip to heal properly. It is important to note that not everybody has posterior hip precautions after hip surgery. Please make sure to verify that with your hip surgeon after your surgery to make sure you're following the correct precautions. So in order to make sure you follow your hip precautions, we want you to sit on the toilet like this. Why do we want you to sit like that? Because it will protect your hip while you wipe. So in order for you to look like this on the toilet, we need to make sure that the toilet seat is the right height for you. When the toilet seat is the right height for you, it'll help make sure that your hips stay in that 90 degree angle. Let me show you how to figure out the right toilet seat height for you. The easiest way to find the right toilet height for you is to measure the distance from the floor to the back of your knee. This will correspond to your ideal toilet height, which is the distance from the floor to the sitting surface of the toilet seat. When measuring the floor to the back of my own knee, I found it to be 17 inches. So my toilet would need to measure 17 inches from the floor to the seat in order to keep my hip from bending past 90 degrees. <laughs> After finding the right toilet seat height, you may have found that your toilet is not tall enough to get your hips in that 90 degree angle. Let's go ahead and take a look at some products that will make your toilet as tall as it needs to be. The first product that I absolutely love, and I think you will love too, is to get a comfort height toilet. Now, comfort height toilets are toilets that are typically 17 to 19 inches tall. Sometimes you can find the toilets a little bit taller than that. Comfort height toilets come in other names as well. They're also known as chair height toilets, 
and ADA toilets. I love Comfort High toilets because they look just like regular toilets. You don't really know they're taller than a regular toilet until you actually use it. They're very affordable. They come in a huge range of prices, some even as low as $100 a toilet, and they're easy to clean. You don't have any other extra parts that you need to worry about cleaning. You just clean that toilet like you clean your current toilet now. The second option to make your toilet taller is the Toilevator. It's basically a platform for your current toilet. It's less expensive than buying a brand new toilet. You'll move your current toilet to the side, you'll put the Toilevator on the floor, and then you'll stack your toilet directly on top of it. The Toilevator makes it so you don't have to clean any extra equipment. Usually people who come by don't even notice that you have a platform for your toilet because it kind of blends into everything. The Toilevator is a win-win for me and my book. I've had a lot of clients who've used it who absolutely love it. The third option on the list is to put a toilet seat riser on top of your toilet. And there's several different kinds of toilet seat risers that I'm going to briefly talk about. The first one is called a raised toilet seat riser. It's basically just a really thick, tall toilet seat. You have to be very careful about because it literally just sits on top of the toilet seat. It doesn't secure onto anything. So when you're sitting down and standing up, you need to be very thoughtful in how you're doing it and be very careful. Go slow because the toilet seat can easily fall off of the toilet and we don't want you falling after hip surgery. The second type is called a clamp-on toilet seat riser. So I really like the toilet seat risers that you can secure to the toilet so that you do not fall off of it. The clamp-on toilet seat riser also is just a really thick, tall toilet seat, essentially, and you can adjust the clamp to tighten it onto the toilet to keep it in place. And the third type of toilet riser, is the bolt-on toilet seat riser. This one you can actually bolt on to where the toilet seat installs onto the porcelain bowl. It kind of makes it even more secure as opposed to the clamp-on one, which you do have to adjust every once in a while, it kind of loosens up. For all three of these types of toilet seat risers, they are very difficult to clean. They can oftentimes get stained, they uh, start to develop an odor. So I don't really love these options for you, but if you are thinking, you know what, I don't really wanna spend a lot of money for this temporary situation, then more power to you. Another product that I think is essential to have after hip surgery is a grab bar. After hip surgery, you may feel more pain and discomfort in your hip, which is going to make it very tempting to sit down quickly from standing up. Let me show you how grab bars can help. Much like the safety rails on a toilet seat riser, you can use a grab bar to slowly lower onto and stand up from the toilet. A grab bar next to your toilet can also serve as a secure secure handhold while you're managing your clothing before and after using the toilet. There are so many types of grab bars that you can choose to put next to your toilet. If you want to find something really cool to match your bathroom aesthetic, head on over to the Toilet Talk Shop using the link below. I guarantee you're going to find something you like. I want you to tell me in the comments below. How are you gonna set up your toilet to help with your hip surgery recovery? If you learned something new from this video, please hit the like button and make sure to subscribe so you can watch more Toilet Talk videos in the future. I wanna thank my capstone student, Madison Weinman, for writing this blog post. You'll have to go in the link below and check it out. She did excellent work. And I wanna thank you for watching this video today. Thank you so much for your time. I hope I see your bright, smiling face again. And I'll see you next time on Toilet Talk. Bye-bye.